Welcome to Fishing Legends. I'm Jeff Morrill. And if you've been watching our show, you know that we always are trying to feature legendary personalities at legendary fisheries, visiting legendary resorts. Well, we've got it all today. The legend of West Wind Tugboat Adventures, one of the world's finest sport fishing resorts. We're in Langara Island, the northern tip of the Queen Charlotte's, just off of the British Columbia coast. We're looking for big Chinook salmon. We're talking monster-sized kings. We're on one of the world's legendary sport fisheries. Northwestern British Columbia, Langara Island, it rests at the tip of the Queen Charlotte Group. I'm with my good buddy, Wayne Kellett, General Manager, Westwind Tugboat Adventures. Hey, Wayne. Jeff. Hey, thanks so much for having us back up. Oh, I love having you up here. Why does Westwind Tugboat Adventures visit Langara Island? Well, the whole philosophy around Westwind Tugboat Adventures is we're mobile with these tugboats. So we're able to pick the best fisheries and go there during their prime time. As you know, the salmon migrate and they move past certain areas at certain times. And that's the secret to fishing. Be in the right place at the right time. And Langara in May and June is the right place at the right time. The fisher, the Chinook salmon are rolling through here. Runs from as south as, far south as the Columbia River in Oregon, all the way up into southeast Alaska, northern British Columbia, all different runs are moving past here. It just makes for a concentration of feeding salmon. And now, you know what that means. Basically, this is the first land mass these uh, fish come to, isn't it? Wayne? It is, and it's, a, a, it's a, the first piece of land from the continental shelf. The herring well up in this area, the, the currents and the tides bring your bait fish up into the shoreline, the salmon come in to feed on it. It makes it a very good area to target and know where your fish are at. Wayne, this is what you'd refer to as mooching, power mooching? Yeah, this is power mooching, power cut plug herring mooching. We're, we're using a herring, which is the, the traditional bait that these fish are up here feeding on. We're basically cutting it into a plug. We, we take the head of the herring, and we'll show you maybe a little yeah, later. Yeah, we'll show you, definitely. Uh, yeah. and, and we put that in the water, and then we just mooch. We drift in the areas and back eddies where the current is forcing the bait into. And the salmon are lazy. The big Chinooks are lazy fish. They like to sit there, have the bait brought to them, and then feed on it. So we're imitating injured bait around these massive balls of bait, and we're waiting for that big fish to pick on them. Right, and as you say, you're almost like, uh, you're obviously under power. You're in and out of uh, gear, I notice. Um, basically, it's trying to hold on these uh, uh, eddies and these different riptides and... and uh... Try, yeah, you're trying to stay in, in the back eddy and just inside where the fish would be hanging, waiting for that bait to be thrown out of the, the faster water. And also, you want your presentation to be slow. So we don't want to get drifting too fast or motoring too fast. These fish, like I say, are lazy. You put it in front of them, they want it, but they're not about to chase it. There's a lot of bait out here. Yeah. These are essentially catamaran-style hulls, are they, Wayne? They are. Cat aluminum? They are. Yeah. Custom aluminum uh, catamaran. They're 18 feet. We actually had them custom-made for the operation. The stability is what's uh, the secret of them. Okay. Well, we got a couple of lines down. We got our bait working. We're going to go away for a minute. We'll be right back. And Wayne's going to show us a little bit more about his mooching technique and the fantastic salmon that we catch here at Langara Island with West Wind Tug. I told you we'd be back with one, hey, eh? we're back with a fish. <laughs> yeah, we weren't kidding around. We've got a nice one here. Yeah. That's a Chinook. We'll, oh, yeah. we'll see how fun see she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. That was at 15 pulls, Jeff. 30 feet. 30 feet of water. Yeah. Is that right? 30 feet of water. depth. Yeah. Now, these fish, Wayne, now... When they're moving through here, are they changing depths? Or are, you, are you varying your degrees? Of oh, yeah. You, you know, if we fish three lines, I'll have one maybe at 80 feet, one maybe at 40 feet, you know, and one maybe at 50, 60 feet. Now, that's interesting. When we just hooked up this big boy, and just literally, eh, we, we had just pulled in the other line, we just had a really good hit on the on other side. On the other side, that's right. And uh, we were just getting that line straightened out, and all of a sudden, here we went. And we're way inside everybody else, so we might just head back there. Yeah. <laughs> The Langara legend is built primarily on the legendary King Salmon, eh, Wayne? I mean, you've got great coho fishing up here, too. But yeah, but no, this is a, one of the few places where you can experience King Salmon in great numbers, and they're ferocious. They're ocean fresh. These things are still feeding. Yeah. They haven't seen a rod or a lure yeah. for three years, if, you yeah. know, if ever, you if know? If ever, yeah, exactly, yeah. Probably more likely if ever. If ever. Um, 
Yeah, this is a nice fish. This is giving us a good workout. The salmon are here to feed on the herring. And guess what's following right behind the salmon? That's right, the whales. Orcas, humpbacks, and Pacific white side dolphins are all here to feed on the amazing amounts of bait fish in the water. You know, I really enjoy fishing for a whole lot of reasons. Friendship, camaraderie, the great outdoors, the excitement of catching a big fish. But you know, my family and I also enjoy eating fish. And it's tough to beat a beautiful piece of barbecued or smoked Pacific salmon. While I was battling this big king salmon, some of the other West Wind guests were enjoying some remarkable bottom fishing. Have a look at these halibut and lingcod. Can you believe this? Every fisherman's worst nightmare. I got a bird's nest on my reel, I got a big fish at the end of the line, and I'm telling you, if this monofilament wraps around the handles, that fish is gone. Fortunately, I'm fishing with a pro guide. Wayne's on top of everything. He helped me sort out the bird's nest, and now I'm back onto the fish. Hey. Now, the, the, the daily retention limit here is two, uh, two kings a day, four in your possession. real. Wayne, you got a bit of a scrap on your hand. Hey, I love it. No matter how big it's the fight, that's the fun. <laughs> well, Jeff, it's been a long time too. It's my first real fishing this, uh, this summer as well. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty color? Well, that's the problem, Wayne. When you work, when you work in the sport fishing business, it seems you don't get to go fishing. No, that's right. <laughs> but these moments make it worth it. Hey, that's a real good scrap. Looks like we found the spot, and you've definitely got the right hole on those cut plugs. They seem to be liking it today. You know, on the single action reel, just makes the pleasure of catching these fish because your hands are on that reel you feel every every tug and you're responsible for letting them run or keeping the pressure and and it's basically what i often refer to a wayne is a uh, f fly gear on steroids <laughs> fly gear, that's right well really that's no, what it you, is it's uh, a single action reel single action right? reel uh, one to one ratio what you turn is what you get and if that fish wants to go you gotta let go of those handles because they spin there we are there well i think he's pretty well ready here well he oh. says no. You know, Wayne has given us the straight goods when he's telling us about the numbers of fish here at Langara every late spring and early summer. This is what legendary fishing is all about. The legend of Langara. Wayne and I played about, oh, seven or eight kings this morning and another three or four coho. Absolutely a spectacular fishery. Langara is a massive holding area for a number of species of Pacific fish.
So, Wayne, what do you think? Should I let him go? Oh, hey, we've got our fish in the box. I think you got to conserve. Let's, Absolutely. Let's let this guy go for the get yeah. back to the river. Okay. I enjoyed the bite. That's all I have. Look at that. What a, lo lo what a lovely big fish. If the hooks are in there, you might have to get off. No, I think I can just pop them out, Wayne. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Barbless hooks. Bar yeah, barbless hooks. Easy release. That fish wasn't injured in any way, shape, or form. And that was a nice fish, Wayne. That was pushing 30 pounds. Like hey, buddy. Well done. Thank you and for letting me play with you. Hey, <laughs> and a true sportsman all the way. And all kinds of Pacific salmon species here. This is morning. another great thing about Langara. You get all different fish runs coming this early in the season. June, we have coho, we've had chum, we have pink around here at this time. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at him go. No matter how often we've done it, Jeff, it's still in our blood. We love it. Westwind Tugboat Adventures' corporate motto is, we follow the fish. And hey, they've definitely followed them to Langara Island. The fishing action today was a good example of what kind of fishing you can experience at Langara Island. You know the old saying, a picture speaks a thousand words, and the fishing here is truly world class. Now what about some terrific accommodations, and what about some fine dining? Well, Westwind Tugboats can look after all that. Warm and comfortable accommodations for all guests can be found on board the MV Perry and the MV Union Jack, as well as fine dining. Take a look at some of these meals. Fabulous brunches, terrific hors d'oeuvres, beautiful entrees and first-class service. Do you enjoy crab? Well, I'll tell you what, when you're enjoying a Westwind tugboat adventure trip, not only will you have the opportunity to eat some crab, you'll have the opportunity to catch a few as well. Outstanding opportunities for nature viewing. Not just the marine life and not just the birds of prey, but bears and lots of other wildlife. And when it's time to move, check out some new scenery, maybe check out a different fishery. Just pull the anchor and the MV Perry, the MV Union Jack, they're on their way. Thanks very much to Wayne Kellett and all of our friends at Westwind Tugboat Adventures. What a terrific trip. And thank you for checking us out on Fishing Legends. Can't wait to see you the next time.